Palpation of the shoulder region. Following inspection, shoulder examination continues by first palpating for any inflammatory signs, such as warmth, swelling, or tenderness. Afterwards, a more detailed palpation of the muscle and bone structures within the shoulder region should be conducted from the front and rear of the patient. Start by palpating the surface of the sternoclavicular joint and pay attention to any tenderness or swelling, which may indicate osteoarthritis or subluxation. If the joint is tender, testing its mobility should be restricted according to pain. If the joint is non-tender, mobility may be tested as normal. Motion is tested by grasping the clavicle with one hand and gently pressing it up and down. Pay attention to any pain, which can be a sign of trauma or osteoarthritis. Abnormally increased mobility may also be a sign of trauma or a connective tissue disorder. Continue palpation along the clavicle to its lateral end, where the acromioclavicular joint is located. Watch out for any signs of a fracture, such as pain, swelling, or displacement. A lateral clavicle that is cranially dislocated and can be repositioned with minimal pressure is known as the piano key sign, which indicates injury to the AC joint. From here, palpate the coracoid process of the scapula in the infraclavicular fossa. The process can be located as it moves with the scapula while the arm is flexed forward. Pain in this area can indicate an insertional tendinopathy of the short head of the biceps, of the pectoralis minor muscle, or the coracobrachialis muscle. Proceeding from this point, palpate the greater tubercle. Tenderness in this area may indicate pathology of the rotator cuff muscles inserted here, which include the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, and the teres minor. The greater tubercle can be felt by slowly rotating the upper arm in and out. Lastly, important points on the scapula should be palpated from the rear. These include the scapular spine, its medial border, its inferior angle, and its lateral border. Muscular atrophy and noticeable shoulder malposition can suggest nerve damage or acute brachial neuropathy, otherwise known as Parsonage-Turner syndrome.